Hi folks, Dr. Dave here for Cheaper Than Dirt and the Shooter's Log, and today we're going to be going over the Browning High Power, specifically how to field strip it and just some general cleaning and maintenance tips. The first thing to do, whether you've got one of the brand new Springfield SA35 High Powers or an original FN High Power, anything throughout the family, the procedure is going to be the same. First thing you need to do, go ahead and make sure that the gun's unloaded, made safe. To do that, we're going to remove the empty magazine, or make sure your magazine's empty, cock it back, lock the slide in place, do a tactile check, a visual check to ensure that the gun's unloaded and made safe. After that, we're going to take, and over here where the safety is, we're going to pull the slide back just a little bit farther until that that safety slides right into the notch. Once that safety into the notch, we can take the slide stop from the other side right here. Get my finger on it. If you push up just slightly on it, it'll make it easier to push that through. Pull out your slide stop. From there, we can go ahead, pull it back, release the safety, the slide will come directly off. After that, go ahead and pull the barrel, spring forward, and you went ahead and field stripped your gun. Now there's any one of a, a variety, uh, types of CLP gun scrubbers that you can go ahead and use it to clean out the carbon off of the barrel, the slide, an old soft toothbrush, a lot of your cleaning kits, uh, breakthrough is one of my favorites will come with a soft nylon brush where you can go ahead and scrub out all of your carbon deposits clean everything up in through your mag well this one's already clean so I'm not going to do any of that clean up where your rails your connectors everything's at go ahead and take one of the included rods handle put that together And then you can use uh, the included bore brushes and swabs to go ahead and clean out the barrel. A little bit of cat here there. Swab anything through. And then afterward, of course, you've got your jags. Oops, let me get the right one here. The jags or loops um, that you can use to push a patch through the barrel either one that you prefer. Uh, kits usually come with the included uh, cotton patches. You can also take an um, old t-shirt, cut up a little bit of that. Makes it good for wiping everything down. Uh, cut it into small enough patches, you'll figure out the right size. You can go ahead and push it through and do just about the same thing. You might get a little bit of lint through it. As far as, oh, let's get to the, oil. Once you've got everything cleaned, I like to start with a slide. I'm going to take my slide rails right in here. I'm going to put just a drop of oil on each one of these. And then I'm just going to set my slide on end like that. Let that oil run all the way down. If you want, you can also put a drop onto the frame. You're going to take your barrel. You're going to want to put a couple of drops on it. Wipe it all the way around your barrel. Into the lugs, just go ahead and put a drop there and there. And here and here, your wear spots on the bottom. Wipe that around. And anywhere that you see any you know, sort of wear or anything on the gun, don't over lubricate it, just get it with enough. When we go to reassemble it, the critical parts, of course your barrel's gonna fit back into your slide. On the spring, you've got the round edge and you've got the flat edge. We're gonna insert that there. The round goes down the flat edge up, 
pop right back in there. I'm going to put our slide back on the frame. I'm going to take it back all the way back until we relock that slide back into the, uh, the safety, that little notch. At that point, our slide stop should fit right back in all the way, oops, not quite there, all the way through. Then if we hold this slide stop up just a little bit, when we disengage the safety, you should hear that click. It means that everything's locked into place. At that point, we can go ahead and hit the slide stop, drop the slide. This is an original one, so it does have a mag safety. Of course, our magazine's empty, our gun's empty. We can go ahead and do that safely, decock the gun, and that's it. That's everything you need to know how to field strip, basic lubrication and cleaning on the Browning High Power.